Hi, this is Doug Schneider. Welcome back to Real Hi-Fi, the fifth and final episode on what we'll call Lawrence Dickey's loudspeaker technologies, taper tubes, reaction canceling woofers, and now let's talk about silicone O-rings, which are in the Kaya S12, around the tweeter, around the mid-range woofer, and in all the Vivid Audio loudspeakers. Here's what he had to say. So Lawrence, in a previous video, we talked about using reaction canceling woofers as a way to eliminate or greatly reduce the transfer of energy from them to a cabinet. And you also mentioned in that video using silicone O-rings on higher frequency drivers as an effective way to eliminate or reduce yeah. their transfer of energy to the cabinet. You have a demo for us. I do. I mean, I like to use the word decoupling. Okay. Uh, the O-ring acts as a spring, a compliance between the source of the force, the magnet, and the enclosure. Yes, I have this simple little demo here. This plank of wood uh, uh, represents an ordinary speaker cabinet. And this would represent a driver? That, that's right. It's a little kid's music box, um, but it's quite effective at uh, exciting the relatively dense metal frame. And you'll hear that on its own, it's almost inaudible. And it's, it's kind of in the air. Absolutely. But when I attach it to this sounding board, it's like an amplifier went on. <laughs> now, I introduce this silicone rubber ring between... And all that's happened is the same board, the ring, and this is now on top. Absolutely. It's like it was an air again. Yeah. You can just hear some of the low frequencies coming, but really all the top end's gone. So yeah, really simple, totally effective. Again, very educational. Thank you, Lawrence. Present. Like I said in the previous Real Hi-Fi episode, I love that Lawrence has a demo for everything. And after that little demonstration was over about the silicon ring on the wood and the little music box thing, our video guy, Chris, who was behind the camera, said, that was really amazing. That really worked. And it does. And that's the thing I really like about talking with Lawrence. He doesn't talk about BS. He talks about what works, and he shows you how it works and why it matters. Like I said in the first episode, he started his career at Bowers & Wilkins. Now he furthered it on at Vivid Audio. Check out what this guy is doing. In the Vivid Audio loudspeakers, even go back and look at the original Nautilus. I think you'll be amazed, impressed, whatever, and you'll know why I called him in that first episode one of the best speaker designers in the world and one of the most respected as well. Incredible stuff. Thank you for watching.